on your voice for this performance. They're both spectacular. And your energy just comes. I haven't we haven't heard any of it. Oh, it's so good. I listen to it in my car and it just blasts. When did you get a pin? Yes. I got the first three seasons, the first three episodes. Okay. James said listening to Surround Sound though, for the yes, full experience. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I had my hair, headphones oh, in and it sounded like it does. the yeah. fighting yeah. and the movie. I mean, you, you got it. That it was like, not just that. And yeah, the kissing. Great. Uh, the kissing. Great. <laughs> 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 I think we have a lot of <laughs> Can I ask, what is it like for Indira stepping into the Slayer role? Like in 2023, things look different than they did in the 90s as a Slayer and as a young black woman. Like, how does that inform her choices, her experience, any of that? I mean, it informs everything, doesn't it? It's like, you can even feel it by the first scene where we're introduced to Indira. It's like, there's no fear here, you know? And <laughs> she's also looking at Spike and Clem to, like, help me out. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm the leader in this type of situation mm -hmm. and uh, she takes complete ownership of that from the very beginning of course then you see like there's certain stakes in being a slayer that she's not the most aware of yet mm -hmm. um, but the fact that she's already coming in with just again like a lot of exuberance and confidence I think shows and says a lot or all that it needs to say um, and then for me just as an actor it's exciting to be a part of this world um, you know we don't get many opportunities like this, mm -hmm. being people of color. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to make sure, one, that I was doing the show justice, but also making sure that I was adding my own my own flavor, my own spice. A little, <laughs> so a little seasoning. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Indira is so endearing. Like, <laughs> what did you bring from yourself into this that someone might not know who's seen your other work? Well, I think what's so wonderful about Indira is her love of being a slayer. Like, her love of the Buffyverse is something that I can relate to, even though I wasn't very aware of the yet. Um, definitely being young and being a fan of things, that's the whole reason why I'm an actor is because I'm just a fan of TV shows and movies. Um, and I feel like, yes, she is feisty and she can be very determined and maybe fiery at times. At the end of the day, at her core, she is also a 16-year-old girl. Um, and that adds this very like human aspect one, but also adds a fresh perspective and maybe a way that we haven't seen with past layers before. Um, so I was definitely able to add this like fan aspect because there are plenty of times even in this industry where I freak out that I'm in the same room with a lot of these people. <laughs> Drusilla is such an iconic character. What was it like bringing her back? And also <laughs> Which one did you go for? Um, I don't necessarily think differently in terms of I feel like I, when I'm working on voice or theater or movies or television, I basically do the same work. And then, of course, there's different technique and different craft for each medium. And it's close up, you're obviously doing something a little bit different in your whole body. But for me, it's really about creating or bringing back a fully well rounded character and all the nuances and the, the uh, development of that character and the contradictions of that character and then that will inform your voice vocally and will be fulsome in, in your portrayal so um, so I think that in terms of um, stepping stepping back into Drew I think when you've inhabited a character for a, a long time and whether it's on a series television or in um, doing a long run of a play so it gets sort of into your into your tissues in some way and it's sort of there so I actually found it surprisingly easy <laughs> to slip back into Drew. Uh, not that I hopefully am like her in my own day-to-day -day life, because that would be a bit scary. Uh, but but she, uh, it, to pick her back up um, came, came pretty effortlessly and, and was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I remember, I remember this. <laughs> Is it a big change with the character? Because the Drew we saw, I know we can't mention before, she wasn't maybe big bad material on her own so it she might have been, but might have she been. she has some personal challenges yes so absolutely. in this one her being the big bad yes yes she's uh, definitely more ambitious mm. and also 
Um, she is not an appendage. She's mm. not subservient to anyone. She really does drive a lot of the action. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so that was very interesting. Mm. Bucky has a like, long history in you know, all um, And you're stepping into a new character. Has the experience been like, you know, potentially ushering in a whole new fandom into that universe that has such a history? Um, it's just amazing. Again, like you can't put a price on that type of one experience as an actor. Like just to be able to witness the talent of like Juliet, and James, James, and like charisma and, and Emma. It's just been like a dream, really. Um, and then I think that's what's so great about like this Audible podcast is whether you're a veteran fan or if you're coming into this with fresh ears, fresh eyes, you know, there is something here for you to relate to. And Indira, my character, um, she represents that in a lot of ways. Um, and even someone in my position who wasn't very aware of uh, the show, um, you can come into it and step into this magical world and still be able to be taken out of whatever craziness is happening in your magical world. <laughs> Very cool. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to geek out too hard. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get a question. Um, oh, I'm, I'm blanking. Sorry. Oh, I had a question. How do you feel about going and doing the panel now and introducing you to the fans? Some of them have heard it already. It'll be nice. I mean, it's exciting. We haven't heard it too. I know. It's interesting to interact. It's always amazing to interact with fans. I mean, it's just been it's incredible in terms of just love and support. Do we have a little percentage? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, let's see, what would you say? Tell us about the dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That never gets old.